it was probably around seventh grade. I went to a camp with Tom and Terry brands there and I saw them. No, here's what happened. It was in Vegas and I watched Tom and Terry brands wrestle at the U S open live. Like I've, I saw them, you know, when we would watch the NCAAs or, or something, but just watching how like intense they were and just being like right next to them, you know, asking them for an autograph. And, and, uh, I was like, whoa, this sport, <laughs> like they it just changed my idea about the sport, you know, and, and just probably changed my life. Cause, um, that summer I went to camps like with them and, um, you know, I was just like, probably, uh, you know, total fanboy, you know, just like asking them questions and, and, um, yeah, but that's where I knew that I wanted to take the sport, you know, to the next level and, and I wanted to compete a bit, I wanted to compete against the best and, and, um, I wanted to compete like them, you know, like with that intensity and you know, with that drive and that, 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 uh, the passion to win and the hate for losing. And yeah, <laughs> it was just, wow. That's to the, see him up close like that. And you don't think about being able to go to the U S open as a kid and watch, you know, like most yeah. people don't think about that, but if you live in Vegas, I guess you do. Right. 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 You know, and, and that's not a, that wasn't a huge wrestling area, right? But being able to go there, um, you know, it just really made me see like what's out there just in the sport, you know, yeah. and, and um, um, that's yeah. not the US Open where Tom Brands got teched by John Smith, is it? Or is that a different one? That was a different one. He, he won. He won that one or he won the one I went to, you know, cause like we watched him in college and whatnot, but, but when, when you get close to him and, and you get close to that intensity, it was, it was just a different story, you know? And that's when, when I really changed my mind and, and uh, you know, didn't really pay attention to other sports. You know, I played a couple other sports, but it was just, it was wrestling, you know, and I, yeah. When you hear him up close like that, you hear him, hear him grunting, you hear him like getting all serious, yeah. man. That's, that's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was just, uh, um, you know, and, and the great part about wrestling is you can take a kid that idolizes somebody and, um, you can go to a camp you can be up close to him. You can, you can talk to him. And, and, uh, he always gave me good, you know, tips and he would, um, you know, like I remember when I couldn't go to Iowa, um, and I chose to go to state, um, you know, I still wrote him, you know, and he wrote me back and, and, uh, he did. Yeah. 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 Wow. What yeah. do you remember what he said or kind of what the message was? Yeah, just just how cuz cuz my goal was to go to Iowa, right? And uh my senior year, you know, I had a lot of schools and Tom Brands, he talked to me as well. He wasn't the head coach, but they also had um TJ Williams for you know, That's a tough the one. Champ. Yeah. Yeah. And um and you know, Schwab we below that, huh? And Schwab below that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, tough team, but, um, uh, we were, we always kind of struggled like fighting kind of with the money part of it, but, you know, I was still able to go to St. Ed's and, uh, you know, and do that, you know, and, and that took my career to the next, to a whole nother like level, but, um, you know, by the time I got into the 12th grade, you know, I was, I was just dead set on Iowa and, um, you know, it just didn't come through. It's, 
it's kind of how that works is, uh, you know, with colleges and good, good recruits, it's, it's more of like, if they need you, you know, and when did you realize, like, at what point during your senior year, did you kind of concede that you weren't going to be able to go to Iowa and receive money? See, I held off until, I don't know, like April, um, till after high school nationals. And then, um, you know, a lot of schools weren't really looking at me a lot because, um, um, you know, I took second in the state my junior year. I lost to Keaton Anderson. 10th grade, I was like a Nevada state champ. Wasn't really a big deal, you know, back then. But then uh, senior year, you know, I just ripped through it all. And, um, but yeah, I, I just, you know, he told me, he was like, man, you know, I want you here, but we can't give you too much money, you mm -hmm. know? And, um, and walk and one, I was just out of the question financially for you guys. Yeah. I mean, hindsight, you know, you can, you can do a lot of stuff, you know, and if you believe in what you're doing, um, you know, you just have to take that leap, you know, and, and, um, but, um, U of M, you know, was a great one, uh, state ASU. You know, there was a lot of schools, mm -hmm. a lot of schools in the mix, but, you know, just. So what did Brand say once he said you, you can't, there's no money? Is it just, hey, keep keep plugging, keep working, that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. And then I chose state, you know, and um, like I remember getting there and, and, and um, it's hard coming from St. Ed's because you do have John Heffern in there and uh, you got like an Iowa product and, and, you know, it's like, it's basically like the Gable of, you know, like high school, mm -hmm. uh, he's just, he's an unbelievable coach and, and he learned a lot of stuff off Gable and, and uh, you know, you're kind of stuck in those ways, which is a good ways to be stuck in. But um how do you but, like what what was different like like just like the discipline or like the way you guys went about practice or like how what was the big changes yeah i mean it was it was just different just just new coaches just um just new coaches you know new training um you know new mentalities new systems and uh it was it's it, you know, when it gets you out of your like routine and gets you out of your comfort zone in a different way, you know, um, it's kind of like a little scary at times, like, Oh my God, is this going to work? You know? And, and, um, so, you know, I would keep in touch with, with John coach half. And then, but I wrote, Tom Brands, you know, and he wrote me back a long letter just going through what he did to get better and, you know, how he would get up at 4 a.m. to go train with Gable, you know, to go through like a workout, but then be back in bed by 6 a.m., you know, to sleep, to get his sleep or there's just a lot of stuff. It was a great letter. You, you know, still I have it. Do you yeah, still let's get that printed or let's get that online, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. He got, I never heard that he got up at like four to work out with Gable. That's freaking nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Just to go over technique, you know, and, and, uh, you know, I know that, that they're big on like sleep and recovery and, and, um, uh, which, which, which back then was, was, was not really big. Right. You know, it wasn't, it was, it was, you know, train harder, train longer, train more. But, but, um, the more I look into to what they did, you like, man, they really were ahead of, of, uh, the game to an extent, you know? And, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause you really wouldn't think that with the brands, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You and, remember anything uh, else from that, than that detailed breakout or like how he went about his day or how we got better? I don't yeah, mean to put you on no, the spot. 
I don't remember it. It's 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 really been a long time That's since so I looked awesome. at it. But yeah, it was uh you know, I've kept that a long time and 